Three months ago in January, I started this series, Road to One ATP Point, to show my mission to get my first professional ATP point. I started this series off with a day in the life video where I showed you guys everything I was doing in a day in my life. But a lot has changed since then with the multiple episodes and multiple tournaments I've played. Some of the things that I'm doing have changed. Today, I'm going to bring back that format and show you guys exactly what I'm doing in a day in my life. They started off with a cup of coffee and a morning session at the National Tennis Center with a friend of mine who is around 130 in the world for juniors at the moment. Now, this session was indoor hard court. Again, this was perfect for the tournaments that I have coming up. The theme of the session was to work on some specific stuff towards the beginning and then move on to some more open stuff, some points towards the end of the session to get a really good feeling on these indoor hard courts. First drill we did was four hands cross court. When someone opened up the line, the point was open. We decided who went up the line and did 10 points each on the forehand and backhand side alternating. He himself is a really solid player, so he makes a lot of balls. And so it was down to me then to play aggressively and try and win the point, which is something I try and do in my matches anyway. So I think it was a perfect fit and I was really enjoying the session. After about 20 to 30 minutes, we then moved on to a drill where I feed him a forehand, he approaches to my backhand, and then we play out the point, and we did that vice versa where I do that as well. I was here focusing on making him play an extra ball, make him play a volley, and like this, try and find a way to wiggle myself into the point to allow me to try and win it. It was then my turn, I had a go. My aim here was just to be aggressive with the forehand, come into the net, and then we warmed up some serves to get ready for some more open points. So the fire alarm did end up going off during our session, so we had to kind of wait outside for 15-20 minutes. We went and sat in the car, and we finally went back to resume the session. It wasn't nice because we were both sweating and soaking wet, but then we carried on the session and played a set, and we just did game scoring, normal points um, after that. I think the score ended up being 5 all, super competitive, super fun, and a great way to start off the day. After that, I was straight in the gym. This session was all about upper body and upper body strength. I started off with some dumbbell work, just working on the chest, working on the back muscles. Here, I'm basically focusing on just building strength and also building power in the upper body, as of course, tennis is such a physical sport. And I was also working on some of these exercises as injury prevention exercises or strengthening exercises. I showed you guys in episode two with my physio. He gave me some exercises to do. I also did a few of those. I'll go to the gym to do strength training about maybe four times a week. So this is kind of a key part of my daily routine that you're not going to see me miss. I also do some stuff with the ladder, with some, uh, some movement work, some plyometric work, stuff like that. This is just what I was doing today. And I finished the session with some core work, doing some Russian twists, some dead bug variations, 
plank, probably my least favorite exercise, and also some side plank with rotations, and also a little bit of push-ups just right at the end for some kind of active work before I do a cool down. The cool down, I did some foam rolling, some static stretching. This is great just after two sessions to feel nice and relaxed and get nice and loose because you don't want to cramp up later during the day if you've got another session, which I do. And so this was a good time as well to just kind of just relax and wind down after my first two sessions. But quickly, did you know that over 70% of you that watched last week's video aren't subscribed? So if you want to help out the channel and you're enjoying the journey, smash that subscribe button. I got home around 12 o'clock and put the rice cooker straight on for my lunch. I then filmed a reaction video, which is going to be coming out this Wednesday. So this is actually my first reaction video, so I'm just kind of talking a little bit about what I thought of his video. And after that, my lunch was finished, which was broccoli, rice and two turkey burgers. So keeping it nice and healthy for the second session. So the plan right now is um, eat this. Then I'm going to get ready to head over to Bucks Tennis Center where I've got my second session today. It's about an hour away, so we're going to leave um, at about 12.30. There we're basically just going to be polishing up my game for the tournaments to come, working on a few specific things. Should be pretty good nonetheless, and let's go. So we were on our way on the one hour drive, and when we got there, we were straight into the session. This session was all about working on specifics once again, and then moving into some open points. So both sessions today were pretty similar. I was playing against my friend Freddie and of course my coach Paul, who you guys know about, who broke down some of the, the, the points that we watched in a previous video. And again here working on specific patterns at the beginning of the session. Okay, time, take a drink. It's almost breaking the habit of try not to settle to push out of the court. Half of the balls, at least you can stay up a little bit further. You can cut across the, the court and take time away and see if you can turn the point on that. So they're talking about my open starts backhand and defensive backhand, something we worked on there at the beginning of the session and something I'm continuing to work on to improve my game. We then warmed up some serves and went into some more open points. We just played 10 points on serve each and focusing on certain patterns. My patterns were to, you know, go big on serve, try and come into the net, try and be aggressive and try and use the forehand to try and win the point. Good serve. Just put a few more serve volleys in just to keep me happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good return, good first ball. Good hit. Good. I think we call it a day, yeah. After that, we went out for dinner for a special occasion around 7 p.m. We went to a sushi restaurant, had some nice and healthy food, which was a great way to finish the day. Of course, this was a special treat, so it wasn't something I'm doing on a daily basis, but I thought I'd show it because it was a pretty cool experience. So that's the end of a day of my life. Loads of awesome tournaments to come, so make sure you like and subscribe to join the journey, and I'll see you guys in the next video.